What's up guys, this is RG giving another high definition broadcast. Uh, it is very late right now, my girlfriend's over there uh, sleeping so I don't want to make up too much noise. But I wanted to let you guys know what's coming up in the upcoming event. So we are on my desktop on my computer and uh, I'm just showing you guys what we're actually uh, going to be expecting uh, in, in terms of upcoming patches, upcoming monster events. Okay guys? so. The let's go ahead and start off uh, right here uh, on the barbecue event. This is going to be the monster for the barbecue event. It's going to be the Yabu Mijo. I don't know how to say that, but it's the Kraken. Um, basically, just some uh, squid chick with a, a, a trident or something. Uh, and she is only going to be SSR. Yes, you heard me right, guys. This is the th third SSR that we're getting in a row on the international server started out with the green dude who was useless Jabberwocky who is useless at the moment just because he's going to be an SSR and he's uh you know doesn't do anything great he's better better having like a behemoth for a lancer in there anyways right now just because he's he's kind of low although Jabberwocky in this case is actually can go into your you are later but still an SSR that's not going to UR right now. And then it's this one, which is actually the Kraken, which is not going to be going to, to UR either. Um, if you know about her going to UR in the Japanese server uh, in the coming upcoming new patches or something with a relic or something, then tell me. But uh, as of right now, I don't see her going to UR. Uh, as you can see, her bubbles are fully full here, even on the Japanese version. So uh, this was translated from the Japanese site um, that I'm on right now. Um, and you can tell right here, she's from the barbecue event. Barbecue is all over her description. So this is going to be the barbecue event that's upcoming. Barbecue event uh, that is coming up on this Thursday, which is going to be the 10th. Now, uh, as far as her stats go, you can see them here. It's going to be around 2,300 on each stat of defense and magic defense. I see this event maybe boosting a couple of low gear clerics that are stuck around 80k gear score. But this is not going to help the majority of people that are trying to go, um, like, uh, the, that play avidly, that go try to get high gear score. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you get to a okay level in terms of defenses but it's not gonna be push you over uh, like a huge hump um, you know it, it is there though to help like say level 50s and stuff like that so if you are struggling with some defenses and you are like level 50 to 70 then this is gonna be a good monster for you however if you're like 85 to 90 you're not gonna get um, too much from this monster as you probably by that level will have a couple of Leviathans or the wolf Fenrir uh, which is going to be about the same thing as this monster maybe just a little bit less um, as, as well as Fenrir will actually give you a better debuff this says 70% of the darkness for 40 seconds I'm guessing that's a blind but um, I'm not 100% sure what that means because it's a little bit poorly translated so let's go ahead and get um, into the left side of my screen uh, which is actually going to be I think here if I, if I, if I got that correct um, so basically um, what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna show you guys this A team admins posting on this um, Unison League here. Uh, you guys can't see it because I think my face is uh, on this part, but basically it's it's just uh, this guy's asking what's the next Unison monster going to be. Uh, a lot of people are speculating that it's either going to be um, Amaretsu or Amaterasu, Am Amaterasu or the uh, Apollo, which is uh, Apollo right here. So it's either going to be Amaterasu or Apollo. Uh, Apollo being a fire monster and Amateratsu is going to be a holy monster and ad A Team Admin is confirming it will be one of these coming towards the end of the month that's all we can say so it is going to be one of these two the fire or holy and um, towards the end of month meaning this month because look at what he's saying he says one day ago I just refreshed my page so um, that's probably going to be on the 24th, which is the, the Thursday update on the 24th towards the end of the month. So it could be on the 17th, but I'm guessing it's going to be more said towards the end. So 24th, which is going to be about two weeks from today. So that means that there's going to be a whole nother patch 
um, or maintenance where we don't get another UR monster. So this is going to give us time to build up, I guess, EXP and proficiency. Um, but honestly, I, I was looking forward to grinding out some UR, uh, UR monsters and getting whichever one of these uh, new monsters are coming. Um, really quick, I'm just going to show you guys which monsters actually uh, they uh, sorry well, that they're they're going we're going to um, get. So we're looking for the Japanese version first. So let's go backwards here. Backwards, another one. And then we're here now on the Japanese version here. Um, this is the UR uh, Jabberwocky, by the way. Um, this is the UR Soul Taker here. Uh, and then I'm Teretsu. Where are you? Where are you? This is her. Okay, so this is her, and this is Apollo. Okay, these are the two ones. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab, and then open this in a new tab. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, Apollo first. Uh, right here, this is the UR version. Um, and then we're gonna have this translated. So um, this is the UR Apollo here uh, that people have been talking about. Very, very good monster. Level, uh, it's a 30 cost and it actually does um, a imaginary shot. So imagination shot or whatever, the new, uh, the new shot. Uh, so let's see, fire da da da, ninety misses three times. So it only attacks three times. So it's more like a high circle snipe. Uh, so it's it attacks three times, and then with ninety ability power, and then it raises by ten each skill level. So it's plus. Uh, so it's one thirty, right? One thirty. This is 40 plus 90 is 130 times 3. So that's what it does uh, for the attack. But basically, you're, you're just going to use it as um, a high damage. It's good for guild battles and it's going to give you a good uh, stat ratio for a lancer and even an archer. Um, even a soldier. Lancer, soldier, archer are very good for. So definitely going to be something that I, I'm going to get. Um, at least one of them, probably two. But um, this is the other gear that we're uh, looking forward to uh, as far as the um, events go uh, for the UR monsters. So let's go ahead and let, wait for Google to catch up and then we'll have it translated. And basically this is um, another U, uh, UR monster. Uh, like this admin said, it's going to be either the Amor, uh, this girl. Uh, or the Day Heaven, or the um, Apollo, which is the Fire God. So, just a holy monster, um, and it's gonna do a reflection for 40 seconds, 10 percent. Um, da -da -da -da, at a 10 percent in the entire ally, so 10 percent reflection, and increases by 5 percent each time. So, yeah. So that's pretty much what it does: is reflects uh, at 5 percent. So that means 5 times 4 is 20, so 30% reflect. And then it's just going to be a light monster, good for priests and mages pretty much only. Um, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want this on my uh, archer, just because uh, it's not going to be the best for uh, like a unison battle GVG. Uh, and it's going to take up a slot that I could have an Alice in. Um, the reason that this guy, you're saying maybe it's like, oh well, it's magic attack and defense. Why is this one better than, why is this one better than this uh, day heaven? Well, it's because the skill is a damaging skill, and the damaging skill that's gonna coming out of this Apollo is gonna be way more productive than say like a reflect, because you can say if you win the units in battle with a bunch of reflects, uh, it's not gonna reflect back the units in damage that they do for you on the next turn if they win. So it's just pretty much not going to be the best for a uh, unison battle unless you have like a bunch of paladins which can be a strategy you have like a bunch of paladins on on one team and you know they can survive the unison that the other team is going to put up and then they have like a bunch of these guys reflections up and then they can just go to town on 
on the other characters because they all have their reflection stuff. So could be useful if you have a bunch of paladins, but this specific Apollo is what I want because it's going to give you that really really high damage. Um, that that is really good for those those GVGs. Plus it's a fire element. It's going to uh, diversify your monster uh, gear loadout and your ability to use different types of element unisons. So that's about it for this one guys. That's I hope that helps you in the sense of um, telling you what's going to be on the next patch, how that uh, affects you, maybe that how that um, is going to be able to uh, help you out or, or not help you or whatever. So um, definitely tell tell me what you thought about it. Some people what you thought about it on the forums. Hit me up in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you guys can and like the video if it helps you out at all. Um, you can dislike if it didn't help you at all. And then tell me uh, what you think. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, that would be great. If you'd like to donate, hit the um, donation in the description below. Um, and then I think that's about it. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching and take it easy. Peace.